Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to talk about polarization by reflection of light. And we are also going to discuss a law called something like Brewster's law. First of all, polarization is the phenomena of restricting the vibration of the light to only one particular plane. So unpolarized light is represented with having vibrations both in the plane as well as a perpendicular plane. We can get them restricted to only one plane by using the reflection property. How do we do that is the video lesson here. So let us consider this is a medium. This is the boundary that is separating the two media. Above the line there is one media. Below the line there is another media. Let us imagine this as an incident light. This incident light is an unpolarized light. So it has vibrations both in the plane as well as in the perpendicular plane. Vibrations in the plane are shown with double-edged arrows. Vibrations perpendicular to the plane is shown with dots, which are the double-edged arrows into the uh, paper. This is the point of incidence and this is the normal. This is called angle of incidence. At a particular angle of incidence called angle of polarization. It is found that this boundary acts like the axis of the crystal. And the reflected light ray has only vertical vibrations. Of course, we know angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. So angle of reflection is also called as angle of polarization. So at this particular angle of incidence, this boundary is acting like a, this is the boundary separating the two media, acting like a axis of a polarizer. So that it is reflecting only vertical vibrations. But while it is refracting the light, of course, all horizontal vibrations are definitely refracted. But it is not that all vertical vibrations will be reflected. Very few vertical vibrations are also even refracted. So the reflected light is completely polarized, whereas the refracted light is having a small number of vertical vibrations and all horizontal vibrations. Therefore, this is only partially polarized. So how do we check whether the reflected light is actually polarized or not? That can be done by putting an analyzer. If I put an analyzer like a quartz crystal whose axis is perpendicular to the vertical vibrations, I will get a darkness. And when I start rotating the analyzer, I will slowly get a brightness. And when analyzer, when analyzer axis is parallel to these vertical vibrations, I will get a intensity of I naught by 2 as it is being shown in the previous video lesson. That way we can confirm and it can be confirmed that particular angle of at particular angle of incidence who is called angle of polarization this particular angle where this happens is called something like angle of polarization the reflected light has only vertical vibrations and hence it is polarized having an amplitude of a naught by root 2 and having an intensity of i naught by 2 now looking into the derivation further looking into the point further one more important point that we need to understand is at angle of polarization, at angle of polarization, it is noticed that not only the reflected light is polarized, both reflected and refracted light are perpendicular to each other. Reflected is perpendicular to the refracted light. Taking this into consideration in this diagram, we can say this total angle is 180 degree. This angle could be called as angle of refraction. So being this total angle is 180, this part of that is angle of reflection, which is also equal to angle of polarization. This part of the angle is 90 degree. And the remaining part of angle is angle of refraction that is 180 degree. So angle of polarization for R is 90. 
So we can say angle of reflection is angle of refraction is 90 minus angle of incidence, which is also called angle of polarization. Now applying the Snell's law between these two media, which is a definition of a refractive index of the medium. Refractive index of the medium to where the light is going, that is this medium, with respect to from where it is coming to 1. If this is 1, if this is 2, what we are referring is n to 1 or simply n is sine angle of incidence by sine angle of refraction. Assuming n2 is the denser medium, n1 is the vacuum, angle of incidence is called angle of polarization. Angle of refraction can be written like 90 minus p. So I am calling it as n itself because n2 is the density of this medium. You call it like n. Assume like your n1 is nothing but vacuum whose refractive index is equal to 1. Sin p by sin 90 minus p is cos p. That's nothing but equal to tan p. So angle of polarization p can be written like tan inverse of refractive index of denser medium when the rarer medium is vacuum. This law is called as a Brewster's law. So from all this we can understand that at a particular angle of incidence called angle of polarization, the reflected light has only vertical vibrations and the reflected and refracted light are perpendicular to each other. That's it. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.